Oh, good morning, guys. Uh, welcome back or welcome to my channel, <laughs> Crops, Plants, and Succulents with Jonah. My name is Jonah. I'm doing gardening in Southern California, Zone 10A. So, uh, <laughs> the gardener are coming today to trim the grass. And every time before they come, they usually come at uh, comes at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. So it's cooler, it's October 5, 2022, Wednesday. Every Wednesday they come over to trim the grass because I can't, <laughs> we cannot do the grass. <laughs> so what I'm doing is uh, before they come over, I pick up the, the pollen fruits. Look at that. So I, I pick up already a lot and it caused a lot of bugs so I have my spray here so I put them on the plastic bag like that see so uh, let's look and check the the rain gutter it's a uh, 66 degrees but there's no the sun is uh, kind of shine pretty soon so i just want to share this area for a quick update but this is not our video our video is the the patio cleaning plus the another deck of patch tea bags and that fruit is getting ripe i don't know okay guys so the gardener are done trimming the backyard and the front yard for an hour ago so let me prepare my repotting so we're here inside my house because this is the the main star today my philodendron red rojo congo so i want to repot her i think same size of the pot but uh, this is this the old pots <laughs> so i want to check how, how is it doing i put it first on the this basket too and since i don't have a, a basket i'm gonna put her here anyway she's like this again I'm introducing myself over and over so I'm ready here I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you you learn something every time I share it I shared a video welcome back again crafts plants and succulents with Jonah yours truly so how is everybody I hope everybody's doing good and we're gonna be almost done here I hope <laughs> I hope I hope so thank you for uh, always watching the video thank you so much guys so this time I'm gonna repot these plants it's $18 from uh, from 11-1 succulents nursery in Whittier California so I'm gonna repot it here I think I mentioned that already right okay so let's start okay guys so we're gonna start <laughs> really we're gonna start okay so this is the plants i'm spraying i'm spraying the neem oil remember every time i i repot i love to spray neem oil but of course you need to keep them uh, on the shade or after the repot I'm gonna put her back on my table inside the house so for me neem oil is like their moisturizer 
Okay, give me a minute. Oh wow, look at that guys. Look at the roots. I think I cannot repot it here. Because the roots are so big. It is serve a uh, bigger pots. Hold on. Okay guys. So this six inches pot is not enough. So I think this is eight. So I put already a liner. Ta -da. So why why is it that I'm not gonna use the six inches pot? She came from this six inches pot. Because look at the roots. Look at the roots, meaning very healthy, so healthy, and so healthy. <laughs> it's gonna get more bigger. So we're not gonna change the soil. I'm gonna take out only a few on the top and on the side so it would attach to the new soil. Soil. So how is everybody? I hope everybody's doing good. Ah, I touched on the wood. It's okay. I'm just, just kidding. So the soil mix is the same. I just put a uh, coconut choir. Okay. So let's check first the plants. I sprayed already. So let's check the plants. All right. You can see that. So take out those uh, there's a new lip coming out on the on the here and they come out from the from the top of the soil so I think this is a pit moss looks like a pit moss I'm taking out some, you see. I don't know, is this pit moss? Looks like pit moss to me. That looks like a... Uh, anyone who knows what's this is like, it's like a hair hole. See? Is it coconut? You know guys let me know put on the comments below it's like a, a, I'm here <laughs> but it's clean because there's no bugs I haven't seen bugs so put soil on the side because uh, she's still on the same soil Beautiful plants. Okay, guys, so it's repotted. So now I'm gonna put this sphagnum moss. This is the sphagnum moss I'm using. It's so good. Uh, I got it in Bolivar, $18, a little pricey, but I need it. <laughs> it's not that I like it. That's why uh, treasure the sphagnumos, they are expensive, but they are very good in ornamental plants. So take out some of the hard part. And then I so I, I pour water and then you can squeeze it and then spread it on the top of the soil
So if I if I see that this sphagnumos on the top are drying up, meaning check the soil, it gives you an idea or a reminder. Check the soil, please. But when I touch it, it's still uh, moist. I'm confident it's still good. And the, the good side with this, it, it covers the soil. That's why it gives beauty to the ornamental plants. Okay, a few more here. And then we're gonna go on. Some cleaning here. I hope. <laughs> There you go. So I'll give a picture of where I will put it. Actually, I will put it on the same spot. I will try to put it on the thing. On the pot. On my terracotta pot. All right, guys, I thought we were done. Okay, so earlier I showed you that I repot this. I sprayed a little neem oil on the top of the leaves. Look, the beauty of the leaves. And then at the back. So now I want to show you how will I make it glossy or shiny. You don't need a lip uh, shiner, lip spray. I'm perspiring so hot. But then you just need a piece of paper towel. So I wet the middle portion. And the rest here is dry so just uh, just wipe it see the beauty why why do uh -oh. why I don't like the lip uh, lip shiner because I don't know because I think because it's chemical no no Nothing against those uh, lip lip shiner, but uh, I just want this one. I learned it from another planter, so just like this, like that. The more you wipe it, um, I can see. the more you wipe it, <laughs> the more it's glossy. Look, and then I take out the how you call it the the da the dust so that it will receive more. So I I clean the back as well. And this stem. That's it. So there you go. And the lip shiner, I think the more the dirt stay on. All right. Thank you. I hope you get that, uh, an idea on this uh, videos. Okay guys, so we're done repotting. So let me sweep the floor. So at least uh, it minimizes the dirt and I have a big dirt over there. <laughs> oh, hello. Actually, it's... Uh, I think it's almost 2 o'clock. So hot, look at that. Let's see the, the weather is there. 89 or 90 degrees so warm very warm okay let me put down the camera
Okay, guys, that's it. That's it. I'm perspiring. See, I'm so... I'm perspiring. So what I'm gonna do is uh, take the final video wherein I'm gonna share the the Rojo Congo and what else I can share on oh, this part. All right. See you. And don't forget, God loves you and I love you too. And uh, Pasha makes, makes a garden home beautiful. Nature is very precious, created by Almighty God. All right. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I can't put my, my hand on my lips because uh, dirty. I love you with agape love, meaning with the love of, the, of God, the Almighty God. See you on the final. Bye. So here's the two begonias that I reported a few days ago. And this new baby begonia I'm gonna repot later. If you know the name of this begonia, please comment below. Thank you. Okay, now we're gonna go more. Here. Okay, it's so go. It's hot, but uh, almost 90 degrees. So, for now, guys, I put this one here so I can uh, clear the area later, and then the plants are all there. And then this one. We'll sort it out. I'll clean that thing. The bird nest. And then. Happy is there. And then this kitten is waiting for something. Can I help you? Huh? <laughs> All right, the elephant bush is there, thriving. And more. Thank you, guys. Thank you. See you again tomorrow. <laughs>